Hi guys, it's me, the Pecan Tan Beauty, and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a what fits in my bag video, and it's on a bag that I recently revealed, which was my 1975 Signature Vanessa Tote. And here she is. This is in the color white. So I wanted to do just a very quick overview of the bag because when I initially revealed it I quickly I think it was maybe a four or five minute video I just revealed the bag as well as some other pieces that I had picked up but this video I'm going to go a little bit more in depth and just to show you actually what can fit in this baby this is a huge bag, not overwhelmingly huge, but it is a big bag. First off, guys, I want to tell you a story that just recently happened to me with this bag. I carried her for the very first time. And if you follow my channel, you know that I like to carry my bags on the crook of the arm. So I guess in the midst of me carrying it on the crook of my arm, my strap rubbed up against something. And if you guys are familiar with this strap, it has three separate parts to it. But just so happened, the boo-boo happened on the shortest piece of the strap, which was this part. So look what I did. And you guys, I know better. I'm going to tell you exactly what happened. There is a small mark up in here, a black mark, and every time I tried to smear it off, it got worse. So then what I did was I actually used some leather cleaner and it did not do anything. So I don't know what it was that was on here, but it was um it was, must have been something pretty bad for the leather cleaner not to get it off. The leather cleaner actually made it worse. So let me give you another close-up look just so you can see how ugly this is. Compared to this, this is brand new right here on the bottom and this is the ruined one that I did. So basically this part actually could fit here. It comes off and then it fits here to be able to make the handle longer. So basically what I did is I did some quick thinking and after I ruined it with the leather conditioner then I sprayed it with a Clorox solution a Clorox solution which was a no-no I should know better but I did it anyway I was desperate and I just wanted my bag to be cleaned so after I doused it with the bleaching solution, I then ran it underwater. I was just all over the place. I was desperate to get it clean. So anyway, um, a light bulb came on and I took another look at the whole strap and I says, well, you know what? This is the smaller piece, so I really don't need this piece. I can get away with it because this strap is super, super long went to the repair shop to the leather shop and I asked how can I fix this how can I make what I have left work so basically what I did is I took out the middle part which was the portion that has this shoulder strap on it and this part I wanted to save so I was so glad that the damage didn't happen to this part so this part here actually was connected over here with the crab claw. So what I did is I had the leather man take off the crab claw from here because the crab claw was attached here. I had him take off the crab claw and I had him to attach it to... the end that actually went into this part. 
So basically, I took my claw from here and I had my Leatherman attach the claw to the other open end. So it doesn't look the same as the other side, but you know what? It's doable. So basically what he did is he put a snap here. He just took the end, folded it over, and then he put a snap here, um, which is very, very secure. So let me just show you the other side so you can see how the difference. So here is the Dooney side, the original way that it came. And it is different from this side, but it's not that noticeable. And if you're looking at the bag straight on, you will not even know that it's there. So anyway, that was my story. I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so now let's get to the bag. So you guys, first off, I normally would not even go for this pattern of bags. I'm not a big fan of the insignia or all the letters and stuff that represent the company. I'm not into that and not because I don't like the lettering. It's just, it's just, a, I just always felt like it was a little bit too busy. But, you know, I just thought that I would go outside of the box and just try something a little bit different. I got it for a good price, which made my decision even easier. Um, and a few of my other girls here on YouTube, they are actually collecting the 1975 Signature Shiny It collection in black. So it's the same exact pattern. It's just in black with the brown lettering on it. So anyway, um, let me just go over the details of this bag. Um, though it's a huge bag and it's outside of my comfort zone, I still think it's a beautiful bag. Um, the coating on here, it is a coated cotton or a coated fabric. So it's very, very easy to clean. It's very durable material. And it's trimmed with this vaquetta leather which is the light brown leather here. And it's um, not treated, it's untreated, which means that it will get stained, it will get dirt, um, and it's gonna patina, which means it's gonna get darker over time. So up front here, we have a, our Dooney and Burke embossing here on the leather patch. And this is one of the features that I like about the bag. I love the bags that have the the bag charm that's already here. And then this bag has rolled handles which are very very comfortable and they are lined with the red around here to help seal the edges. And this bag has the shiny gold hardware which is not that bad. It's not overpowering because really it's not much hardware on the bag at all. That's what makes it very, very light. The sides is also piped with this Viquetta leather and it has these little grommets right here that holds in the, the strap or the D-ring here. And the corners are also trimmed with the Viquetta leather and I think that just makes it look so beautiful. It just dresses the bag up a little bit more um, so it's not so plain. And then the same on the other side. It's trimmed with this beautiful, beautiful Viquetta leather. And then on the back of the bag, it also has a patch here. And that patch says Genuine Florentine Viquetta Leather. And then it has a little cute little duck right there. So I think that was a very, very nice touch how they put the that leather patch on the front and the back of the bag. One of the other things that I love about this bag, I love this strap. It has a nice shoulder strap here where it fits nice and comfortable on your shoulder. And this is a very, very nice drop length on this bag. 
it's a really really nice drop and in my last reveal video or my video with this reveal I revealed this keychain and it has the DBs here so basically I just took a lobster claw clasp and I just attached it to the keychain just to dress the bag up just a little bit more um, I actually am thinking about just taking this off and having this connected to this so you won't see this thing here. I think that looks, I don't know, a little bit tacky on this bag. But this bag also comes with feet. It comes with four feet and it is lined with that beautiful Viketa leather right here on both sides. And I think that this is just an all-around, everyday bag. It goes with a lot of outfits. I'm actually a plain Jane type of girl, so I normally just wear solid colors. Like today, I have on a white shirt and some jean shorts. So this bag works perfectly for me because it's, it's busy and it actually dresses up my outfit. Okay, so now let's go to the inside. I have it stuffed with just some bubble paper as well as a pillow. And that actually works out perfect. Okay, so the inside of this bag is huge. I mean, extremely huge. So here we go. So the inside, it has our standard Dooney and Burke pockets. It has a zipper pocket here, which goes down fairly deep. My whole hand actually fits in here. And then it has a slip pocket here. And then it has our Dooney and Burke leather patch here. It says since 1975, Dooney and Burke. And then on the opposite side is the same. We have a snap pocket here. And then we also have a cell phone pocket here. Lots of room. And on the right hand side of our bag, we have our key keeper here with the gunmetal clasp. So lots of room. I love the red interior against this white bag. So very, very beautiful bag. I've only carried it once. Um, but I intend to get lots and lots of use out of her. Okay guys, so let me show you what fits in my 1975 signature Vanessa tote. I'm not sure you guys if I revealed this in my last video, but I actually picked up the larger size of the cosmetic case. I have a small one also, but I thought with the larger bags that I've been getting lately, like the large Florentine satchels, I thought that this would actually work better in here. So this is just a, a throw all type of thing. It's not organized. I have my car, my phone charger. I have some lotion. I have some ibuprofen, hand sanitizer gum just miscellaneous stuff so we're gonna put this in here and that's how she looks so far and then next I'm actually going to put in a full-size iPad and I'm just gonna put that on the very very back wall like that and then I'm going to put my patent leather wallet I'm going to put that there and then I'm going to put my coin case and I actually picked this up I think about four or five months ago when I actually featured this in a come shot with me video. So this 
what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to attach this to the key keeper here. So here that is, and I'm just going to stick it right here on the side. So I'm actually sticking that right here on the side. And then I'm going to put in my halo. And my halo is going to fit in the snap pocket here. And I'm going to put in a 20 ounce water bottle. And I'm just going to put that over here in the corner. And I still have plenty of room. That fits perfectly in there. That just tells you how large and how tall this bag is. Because even with that water bottle in there, and this is a large water bottle, I still have about an inch and a half to two inches worth of space up here in the top. So I'm actually going to spend the night at a friend's house this weekend. So I'm going to take my sleeping shorts. And I'm going to put that right here on the other side of my iPad. And then I also have a tank top that I'm going to put here. And this is how it looks. Still lots of room. And then I'm going to take my just little cosmetic toiletry case. And it has toothbrush, toothpaste, lotion face powder, brushes, just miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to sit that on top of my clothes. Still lots of room on the top. Okay, and then lastly, I'm going to put in my little house slippers. And I'm just going to sit those right here on top so and you know what guys this actually really isn't that heavy it's really not that heavy surprisingly so here she is she's full you guys she is full she's not all that heavy she still has her shape on both sides and here she is on the bottom so now the real test, trying to zip her up. So let's see. Perfect. So here she is. The zipper is not at all wavy or anything. Still straight. And again, surprisingly, she is not heavy at all. So here she is fully stuffed so this is how she looks over the crook of the arm I still can't believe that she's not heavy at all and then this is how she looks on the shoulder the handles lay down nicely you guys she is a large bag and I normally wouldn't carry it like this because it does screw with the zipper a little bit because it's just such a huge bag that the and the straps are just so far apart that it's going to squish it in a little bit so I I wouldn't carry it like this unless it was absolutely necessary and you can also carry her crossbody and here she is crossbody or you can put it towards the back
Okay, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.